Blessed and happy Tuesday to all of you, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, my dear good people of God, faithful followers of the Daily Gospel Reflection with Father Jack, my dear Kababayans. Today is March 5, 2024, and today is Tuesday within the third week of Lent, year B, and our Gospel for today is from the beautiful and the wonderful account of the Gospel of Matthew chapter 8 and verses 21 to 35. The question of Peter in today's gospel is perhaps the same question for many of us. How often should I forgive? My dear friends, human as we are, when we speak about forgiveness, it is not an easy thing to do. Forgiveness is hard. It's a challenge. It's a struggle for many of us. Yes, it is difficult, but it is not impossible. To forgive means to be released from the prison of bitterness, to be released from the prison of uh, resentment. And for today, allow me to share three important points as a point of our reflection. Number one, we are reminded by our gospel for today that forgiveness has no limit. It means it is infinity. The measurement of forgiveness is not uh, numbers, but love. Because love is unconditional. Forgiveness is not about numbers, but it, it is all about the love. And you know, in the Bible, seven is number seven is a symbol of perfection. Meaning to say, if you forgive someone seven times, it means you are excellently perfect. But Jesus said, not seven times, but 77 times. Meaning to say, go beyond the limit of perfection. Forgive as many as you can. Forgive as long as you live. Forgive. Because forgiveness is unlimited. And second, if we don't forgive, we can't receive forgiveness either. In today's gospel, the king forgave, forgave the slave because forgiveness is a beautiful gesture giving us the chance to change. I forgive you because I believe that you can make yourselves a better person again. To forgive is a beautiful gesture of mercy. The king forgave the slave because the gospel would like to tell us that within us, we have the power, we have the ability, we have the capacity to free ourselves from prison of resentment and bitterness. Friends, if it is hard for you to forgive, Continue to ask the Lord to help you the grace of being merciful. If you find it hard to forgive, pray the Our Father. Bring it constantly in your prayers because I firmly believe all things are possible with the help of God. And finally, forgiveness is hard. It is difficult. That's why to forgive is a process and it is a decision. It is a process, but don't delay the process. It is a decision, but don't postpone to decide. Not to forgive is like signing your own warrant of arrests. Not to forgive is just like drinking a poison and expecting others to die. I challenge myself and you, my dear friends, we need to break the barrier for love, destroy the struggle for peace, refuse not to forgive, and do it as many as you can. Because in our responsorial psalm, we are told, blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. If you love and like this reflection, can you share it with your friends? Share it with your family. Make the word of God viral so that many 
will be blessed.